Winter Palace, which today is called the Hermitage. But in 1879 and 1880, it was called the Winter Palace, and it was where Tsar Alexander actually lived with his family. And Murad Nuvolia had a, a volunteer named Stepan Kalturin, who was actually a very talented craftsman. He was a brilliant woodworker, but he became a dedicated first radical. And at first he was opposed to terrorism, but then in the summer of 1879, he changed his mind and began dedicating himself to being a terrorist. And he got a job in the Winter Palace as a woodworker. And he actually lived in the Winter Palace in the basement. Little by little, he smuggled nitroglycerin into the basement, into the cubicle where he lived down in the basement. And the police, one of the policemen guards here at the Winter Palace was very enamored with Stepan, wanted him to marry his daughter. And so he really didn't surveil Stepan like the others because one of the things that happened while Stepan was here was the third section actually managed to raid the home of one of the Naranyavad Volya leaders, Fyatowski. They found a map of the Winter Palace with an X marking the spot. They realized something's up here. This is a diagram of the Winter Palace. What's going on? They actually came in, they searched all the workers, including Kal Torin, but because his would-be father-in-law didn't really search him, they didn't find the dynamite that was stashed at the bottom of his trunk. Little by little, he kept bringing the dynamite in. There got to be a time, though, when Jalabov took over for Kvyatovsky, became very nervous that it was going to be found out, and said, we've got to get on with this explosion at the Winter Palace. He got Kabalchich, who was the engineer for Narodnya Volya, to calculate how much damage would be done by the bomb. Kaltorin had actually cleverly changed rooms twice so that his new quarters in the basement were directly under the Imperial dining room. It was just about this time of day on February 5th, 1880, when Stepan learned there was to be a dinner in the Imperial dining room. He set a fuse that took 20 minutes to go off. He then walked out of the palace and came across this square. And from here, he observed at a little after six o'clock in the evening, a tremendous explosion that happened in the Winter Palace. All the lights immediately went off. It was a an enormous bomb inside of the palace. And in fact, it killed a lot of people. 11 people were immediately killed in the floor above his quarters. The problem was the emperor actually had been a little bit delayed because there was snow that night and the guests did not quite make it. The emperor wasn't even in the dining room. So the people who were killed were just basically, as usual, innocent bystanders. There were some Finnish guards that were there and some other people in the palace that were killed. Eleven were killed, or over 50 were wounded by this bomb. And it was a spectacular thing to have happen at the Winter Palace where someone had actually, from within, blown up the palace. Imagine if someone blew up the White House that worked there. It was that shocking to the Imperial Society that this happened. It was as a result of this explosion that Alexander totally reshuffled his cabinet, totally changed his policies. He appointed Loris Melikov to be the, the basically the sub-czar or dictator, as it were, running the entire country from here because Alexander concluded something has to be done to end the onslaught of terrorism. But that would be a fateful year from February 5th, 1880, and it happened here at the Winter Palace.